Okay, today I'm going to show you wool combing on uh, English combs. So first we need to start with some washed fleece and you need to sort out your staples. So hold back the fleece and pull out a staple or two at a time. Okay, make yourself a nice little pile. Okay, if you just hold it back with one hand and pull sharply with the other, the staples will come out cleanly and not mess up the rest of your fleece. Right, so the next thing is to lay them all out in a tray. Okay, so keep them all going the same way and lay them in a nice even layer in the bottom of your tray. It needs to be something waterproof because we're going to spray with a oil and water mixture. The, the oil will lubricate the locks so it makes the combing nice and easy and the water helps to dampen things down and stop them getting very fly away. Okay, so I've got a little spray bottle with some oil and water mixture. And just give a light spray, a few drips across all over on of the surface. Okay. Now what I usually like to do as well is to turn them over and give them a spray on the other side too. Okay. Now what we want to do with that is to set that aside now to rest to let the uh, oil and water mixture soak into the wool and we can do that for the first one while we're setting up the combs. Later on you can have one batch um, resting while you're working on the other batch. Okay, so a set of English combs usually come with a mounting pad as well. Uh, the little box in the top is handy for keeping your bits and pieces and tools in. There's space underneath to store your comb when it's not in use. You must always remember that these are quite sharp, so be safety conscious. Any comb that you're not using, please leave it lying flat. Don't have it with the spikes upwards. Okay. Now we've got the comb I'm going to load is sat in a kettle full of hot water just to warm the tines. This helps to sort of warm your oil and soften it and makes everything go nice and smooth. So put your comb in to the pad. It's got a block to sit it on to keep it upright and you put your pin in at the back to hold it steady. Um, ideally, if your uh, combs are set up right, the locating hole for the handle should be at about elbow height. You do need your pad securely mounted. I'm on the centre of a table here so I've got a G-clamp in either side. If you're on the corner, what's even better is to put a G-clamp that corner and another G-clamp on the opposite corner around the side there. Okay. So now we're going to load the comb and you want to take your pre-soaked locks and you're going to lash them on. These are, if you can see, these are four row combs or four pitch combs. They've got four rows of tines okay, and they do vary in height. So what we want to do is to make sure that the butt of the lock, so hold the tip, the butt of the lock wants to go over the first two or three rows and just pull that gently down. Okay, take a clump of locks at a time, lash them on. Yeah, that one look hasn't caught, so make sure he's behind a couple of rows and just keep lashing them on. You'll find with a little bit of practice you can just flick them over and catch them in the right sort of place. 